Let's take a look at the virtual schemas feature of data virtuality. First, we will create a new schema, and I will call it my schema. You can see it appearing here. It's still empty, so let us fill it with some data. So I will call the create view builder. The data will be put into my schema, and the view name, I will just call it product. Let's add some table. I will only add one table, which is in MySQL, and it's called product. As I'm creating a data model for my business analysts, I don't want them to be distracted by all the other data, so I'm just entering some data here, uh, such as color, uh, for example, uh, maybe the dealer price and the list price. So that's all I need to do for my virtual view just opening this in the SQL editor and you can see here the create view statement which will put the view in my schema.product and which will select some data from it. So let's just try this out. So I'm just selecting the select part and you can see here the result immediately. So I don't need another ETL run when I'm working with my data model. I can just go ahead, write those views and test them. Um, putting an alias here for product ID, so I will call it product underscore ID, and I can test my modification instantly. I could also use any kind of uh, different SQL here, so I could use an average or aggregation in the SQL dialect to work with the view, and the data virtuality server will tr perform this transformation. So I'm fine with the view as I uh, as it's right now, so I want to run the whole statement, and now I've created this view in my schema, and we can see it's called product, and I only have these values in there. Let's now create another one. Let's create one with data from an Oracle database. So I'm calling the view builder again. This time I will call this view sales. Let's add some tables from Oracle here. So my Oracle database, and there's the sales order detail and the sales order header data. I'm adding this so I can create a join here. By the way, I could create joins between any kinds of uh, data systems here. Data virtuality would join them automatically. Now I know that the sales order ID is present on both tables. So let's select them here. Let's select some data. So let's say I want the product ID, um, maybe the order quantity, and the line total. And from the from the header data, I want maybe the um, order date. And let's take a look at the subtotal, for example. That's all I need. Now I can also work with this view. I can try if it gets the right data. I still want to rename my product here ID as well. And I can again test if it see if it worked. Okay, this is the way that I want this to be. So I run the whole statement in order to create this view. Now I have a product and a sales view. I can take a look at the definition always. And I can also view the content here so you can see this is a simple select statement that gives returns data from this view.